I don't know what's going on. Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Taylor. This is my Christmas stitch. And uh, today I've been watching so many decluttering videos that I have felt inspired to get rid of some crap. Um, my main struggle is my books. I have so many books. I have two full bookshelves, if you guys can see behind me, that are like chocked full of books. And then I have a full closet that's stacked full of books and giant stacks in front of my bookshelves. So I really just want to get rid of some of the stuff. I just feel like I have too much. I feel like I'm not going to ever read all of the books that I have, or they're going to get deprioritized by other stuff that I bring in. I feel like I'm not reading things that I enjoy because I'm just reading stuff that's shorter and less like stressful. So I'm like trying to read quality, quantity over quality. And especially going into 2021, I want to read stuff that I'm really going to be excited about. And if I have too many books, that's probably not going to happen. So I think today is the day we're going to declutter a lot of my books. And I'm nervous. <laughs> so come along, join the fun, and uh, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, so just for some context, this is my bookshelf of mostly read books. The top two shelves, this one is nonfiction, this is my classics, that's a series of, um, focus, there we go, of Harry Potter on the very, not Harry Potter, sorry, Wizard of Oz at the very top. Um, but all of these are books I've read. These are pretty much most, not most, these are the ones I'm planning on keeping of my 2020 reads. These are more like um, sentimental series that I'm trying to work on reading. This is my Christmas tree with all of my festive ornaments. And then moving over past my laundry, then we have this whole situation, which is just ridiculous. So these are just books <laughs> on books on books. These are all books that I have not read yet. Like this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't need this many books. Oh, also we have the classics, more classics up there. <sighs> so many books. Then we have this situation, which is more books. There's more books back there. Those are all my Christmas books. And then we have this, <laughs> which is where most of my books go to die. There's this whole thing that's full of books, like stacked too deep. And then there's all of these that are stacked like too deep. And then there's more up there. We just need to get rid of a lot of this stuff. <laughs> it's stressing me out. So I have started getting rid of some books. This is like a whole stack right here. So I am getting rid of stuff. I just need to get rid of more. Like if I can clear out like this and either put it on a shelf, which means I thus then need to get rid of stuff off these shelves to stack these in or figure out a way to make them fit in the closet, which is pretty much, oh my God, pretty much at max capacity as far as books go. Yeah, we pretty much need to get rid of a lot of stuff. So, wish me luck. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to have to do, which I'm not looking forward to doing, is going through these shelves because these are books I've basically had on there for forever and I just don't pick up the books on these shelves. So, I just need to go through these. I don't even know what I have on here anymore, and I just ignore my pimple patch. <laughs> I just need to, like, get rid of a lot of stuff on these shelves, and, uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna start, so. Hmm. <laughs>
about book shopping. I buy doubles of so many books that I end up finding later and being like, oh, I actually have two copies. Why do I do this? Granted, I spent $7 com <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Granted, I spent like $7 combined on both of these, but still, like, why? so unnecessary. So I tend to keep the better looking copy, which actually is the $2 version rather than the $5 version. So uh, yeah, Magician's Elephant by Kate D'Amelio. Still haven't read it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Tried it before with all I got. So this is where most of my problem lies, to be totally honest. So all these are books I've collected within the last few years that are sentimental or books that I read as a kid that I've found in used bookstores or online. And as you can see, there's a lot, they're double stacked. So, and then I've got piles and piles of books that I've found because it's just like a little treasure hunt to me and I love it. But the problem now is, of course, that I have so many of these like elementary and middle school level books. So I think we're gonna have to do another overhaul. I'm not getting ready of, rid of any of these, which is a little bit of the problem, um, at least until I read them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something else to do with this shelf. Wish me luck. quick update we've pretty much reorganized these two shelves i'm not stoked about this sticking out like this but it doesn't annoyingly fit like sideways like the rest of these stacks so i think that's gonna be my like quick access reading stack we'll figure it out but these are all series so i kind of kept them all together which fits very nicely I've got The Littles, Thoroughbred, Frog Princess series, a bunch of Beverly Cleary books, a bunch of Mary Jane Ashley books, um, Judy Bloom, um, what else? Bernstein Bears. Yeah, all stuff from my childhood that I just feel like would be fun to keep reading as I get older for purely nostalgic reasons. Um, and then moving up into this shelf, this is all like older middle grade like and like young adult like young young adult um so we have some new ones that have come out recently or ones that i'm really interested in again more some of these classics that i've wanted to just revisit my harry potter hardcovers um let's see what else a monster calls if you can see that which it doesn't look like you can um miss piggle wiggle so yeah, the Twilight um, graphic novels. So we're moving along. My scariest thing I think to figure out is going to be the closet where I'm gonna literally have to put the rest of these. Mm. Yay. <laughs> 
okay I'm not gonna lie I've only been doing this for like an hour and I'm already getting burnt out like I just have so many books like look at that I can't fit any more of this in there <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm going into the abyss. <laughs> current status of what we're working with and uh it's a flipping mess someone send help <laughs> I just tried to film this but it was really dark and on slow-mo so now we're trying this again this is about the more than halfway point I'll say the book stacks are pretty much almost gone we've got a little pile on the bed little pile here on the floor a couple little piles here on the floor that's all Christmas stuff ignore that one more pile here one more pile there but um yeah this is shockingly I will say better than what it was I know it really doesn't look any different, but we definitely have moved some stuff around, gotten rid of right now almost four full bags of cl of books, so definitely taking things away. I haven't yet touched that whole bookshelf yet, and I don't think I really am going to at this point in this video, just because I think it might um, pretty much stay kind of how it is for right now. So what I've pretty much been doing is my unread books shelf and the closet, which again, sorry, it's super dark, pretty much looks exactly the same. Um, so there's really not like visually any huge change, but trust me, this makes me feel so much better if I can just get like the piles a little bit more under control, I will feel so much better. All right, friends, I think we're calling it for the day. We will be back at this probably later tomorrow, but I know it really doesn't look different, but this feels so much more manageable. This will be gone by the end of this video, I promise. But like I said, we've gotten rid of four bags of books up to this point, which is crazy. Um, so I'm really excited about that. This has greatly diminished. I don't know if you could remember, but before... The books were stacked up almost to that shelf, so we've cut it down quite a bit. And uh, yeah, the process is still going strong, but I've got stuff to finish working on the rest of the night. So we will be back at this soon. Hi friends. Welcome back to a very <laughs> delayed part two of my clearing out my bookshelves. I am very behind on this it's been i think a week since i started filming the original video and not much has changed appearance wise it actually looks pretty much the same as it did before so that's great um but i'm going to go through i think my red bookshelf today and see if there's any that i can pull out and get rid of to make room for the new books that i read this last year and uh yeah so we're gonna try that out see how it goes wish me luck all right, here's all the books that I cleared out from my shelves. Most of them, to be honest, are sequels of books that I'm probably just never gonna reread. I'm not a big rereader. I maybe only reread 
a few books in the year, most of them being Christmas classics. So I'm getting rid of some of these ones. These are heavy. I'm going to put them down now. So after a very large culling of everything, we've ended up with six bags of stuff to get rid of. Pretty proud of that. There's probably going to be more, but to be honest, I just kind of want to get rid of all this and then start over from scratch and then like have at least this out of my house. This is clothes I need to donate. Ignore that. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about this. We're going to take it to the store. This is probably over a few hundred bucks, give or take. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> 